Hello, hello! Welcome to Orbox C. This is a uh, game developed by. Uh, wins underscore 84 slash game balance. Uh, I believe game balance is the primary developer. If not, my apologies on that. Um, you can actually see both of the people's names down there in the bottom left corner along with their email address. Uh, I was actually contacted by the first one, which I would actually try to pronounce the name, but I know I would butcher it completely. Uh, about getting this game for free to uh, review and actually play and so here we are, uh, th that is my disclaimer that I did indeed get this game for free. Um, or I was given a key for it on Steam. You can buy this game on Steam for $3, uh, that USD of course. But it is a puzzle game. Uh, a sliding tile puzzle game. With 210 levels overall apparently. Uh, now, I, I personally have played a lot of different puzzle games over the times of me playing games and honestly my biggest complaint about puzzle games isn't that they're not fun it's that the name and the puzzle game itself does not ever leave a lasting impact on me so one of the things that actually delayed me recording this was trying to come up and remember some of these other puzzle games I've played to actually fully you know draw comparisons between them but I can't remember anything, and I, I, I'm trying to figure out why, why that is, and it's just, I, I don't know. I, I guess I remember the puzzles and the elements more than the actual name of the game itself. Uh, hopefully that's not the case with Orbox C, but uh, we'll be playing through the easy levels here. Uh, first off, we got controls, WASD or arrow keys, okay, R is restart, that's fine. I uh, gotta find my way to the exit. You are the red block with the black in the center, and the exit's a uh, blue with the red center. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to remember. There, there, there was a there was a game uh, I actually recently played on my phone that's kind of like this. Ah, actually, let, let me uh, let me see if I actually have that game still installed on my phone. I might have uninstalled it because I. Uh, I did end up beating it at one point. Um, professional, I know, I know. Mm, nope, it looks like I removed it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, there is actually one game I can draw a comparison to, uh, and that is Alien Path. Uh, Alien Path is actually a game, I. it's probably the only puzzle game that I can actually honestly remember. Uh, for the life of me. Alien Path is kind of like this, only it has like a whole RPG element to it, which I, I think that's probably the reason I'm actually able to remember it. Um, and that one's really brought puzzle games in a different light to me. Like, it, it's a similar sliding puzzle game, though you get to modify rows and there's a lot more RPG elements to it. Oh, that was not it. There we go. The down tricked me. I, I was miscalculating there. Uh, but yeah, there, there's... What the hell is going on here? That was simple enough. Uh, what was it going on about? Right, <clears throat> So, so far, I, I'm, I'm not seeing anything too unique to this game. Uh, there are some interesting paths that I see, but they're not incredibly difficult until stuff like that happens, of course. Let's see. The, the the art style of this game, at the very least, is definitely quite nice. Um, the overall settings I, I had when I actually launched this game for the first time was very, very limited. I, I, I couldn't 
honestly actually get into a uh, video resolution so I had to use a different program to actually set the resolution to uh, what I wanted it to be for recording purposes which you know as uh, as normal is 720p for me um, mouse get off the screen I don't need you hovering above stuff uh, I, you know it's actually very difficult to actually try to talk and whatnot while doing this uh, but, uh, Okay, I think I know what I want to do here. There we go. The, the art style is actually really nice, though uh, with the way this game is laid out thus far, it kind of feels more like a phone game, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, and maybe, uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll check to see if this is available on iOS slash Android, but uh, maybe, it, maybe it is not. Yeah, I, I love, uh, I love puzzle games. Um, but they're a fun way to pass time, you know, to keep the mind sharp, if you will. Uh, let's see, various teleports or box to teleport between the same colored portals, okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. <clears throat> yeah, so I've seen teleports in puzzle games before. Wait. Yes. There we go. Teleports aren't anything new. Uh, the timing isn't anything new. I, I really wish I had the game still installed on my phone. Hold on a moment here. What exactly is my goal right now? There it is. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, uh, maybe I should just kind of stop talking about what I think of the game thus far uh, in my past experiences and just play through it for the moment. Uh, maybe next episode, uh, because I actually do intend on just playing through the entirety of this game. I, I can't see a reason why not at the moment uh, but yeah maybe uh, maybe we'll we'll see what exactly is going on here and let's see here we go. kind of play the game for myself I guess figure out what the hell is going on what what is going on here actually I, uh, I ignored that dialogue that popped up. Okay. So you want to get them all in the least amount of moves? I would imagine. Okay, so that actually causes death. Got it. So you wanted it to end in there. Yeah, so far the uh, easy pack. Uh, which, by the way, there are 30 levels in each of these packs, and there were a total of... Seven? Seven or eight. Uh, but yeah, so far the easy ones are actually fairly straightforward. Huh. Technically got the last one, even though uh, if there were no more, or if I had to actually stop on a block, I would have died there. Okay, those are interesting. Gateways are interesting. Um, huh. I can't say I've actually seen stuff like that too much. Uh, I have seen it before, but it's not used that often. 
And that's going to send me off into space if I go right. So wait. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's actually take a look at this. Steps record 13. Is there actually a... Leaderboard? Or anything of this? Like a, um... Star system? For levels? I'm not seeing one. Here, anyway. Makes me wonder... Is there actually a, uh, known minimum amount of steps for each level in this game? Okay, so I actually do stop on that. Just curious about that. Reset again. Okay, so if I reset multiple times, it actually just fades out of existence. You know what? I'm fine with that. Um, let's actually take a quick look in the options. Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, a, a setting to just hide the previous pathway would be great. <laughs> I would definitely say that much right now. Okay, so I can go there. Do I, do I really want to, though? What does that button do? That actually goes back. Okay. That's a reset button. Um, a button that maybe let me go back one step would also be nice. Hate the music. There we go. I figured out the trick there. Took a bit. Uh, grow block. If you ride over the grow block, it will become solid. So, kind of like the opposite of the uh, closing doorways. So I'm kind of forced to go to the right here. If I go up, I would essentially just be sent off into space. Forcing me to do something like that for that level. Uh, likewise, I have to go down here. Can't go left or right, so I'm forced to go back up. I go left or right here, and down. And then use the fact that I do not die into space by grabbing the last one. Bomb starts countdown. Explosions are harmless. Right, right to the bomb equals instant blow. Oops. I misplaced myself there. For some reason, I thought I was the exit for a moment. Okay. So actually touching it starts a countdown. Uh huh. Oh. So it actually counts down over time. I see. Did it before the other bomb exploded. And let's see. Ah, the music does still play when I click off the game. 
It's amazing how many games actually stop music and whatnot when it's in the background. Uh, let's see. What do I want to do here? I mean, obviously, going to the right was my only option there. Uh, if I go down or up... I'd be somewhat screwed? Possibly. Oops. Damn it! I know what I had to do, it was just not pressing up enough there. Uh, you have discovered a new mission. Blow all the bombs. See your mission on the game panel on the right. Oh. Okay. That was quick. Level 22? That just left me in the middle of nowhere. Alright. Okay. I'm actually liking these bombs. They're uh, a bit more interesting than I thought they would be. Especially considering they are unreliant on me moving, so it's not a turn-based system at all with uh, me going from slide to slide. I knew I was- I, I had to figure out how to get that last one in there. Uh, instruction. Sensor! You have discovered a new mission. Activate all the sensors. Touch every side of the sensor to activate it. Okay. I'm trying to remember if I've ever actually seen a sensor like block before in these puzzle games. And I honestly can't say I have. Yeah, no, I really can't say I've uh, seen these sensors before. Ooh. Okay. That actually gets me stuck. There we go, got him out. Ice. You have discovered a new mission. You have to break all of the ice. Ice is fragile. It breaks on one touch. Choose the side to strike. Uh, when? You have to break all the ice to work. What? Okay, so like this is a uh, very, very quick bomb, if you will. At least from my understanding of what's available. So, I have to ask, that didn't seem to be too hard, so it would take me a moment to figure that pathway out. Yeah, puzzle games are great. I love puzzle games. And uh, th th this game is definitely right up my alley. Uh, puzzle games to actually play and enjoy. Uh, though, I think this is actually the first legitimate puzzle game that, that is designed in this format. Uh, I'm not including like Portal or Portal 2, which, you know, are puzzle games, but 3D. Uh, I, on my channel, and maybe, uh, maybe depending on how this goes, I'll have to do some more of them. Um, oh. I'm gonna go to the right ones. Destroy that one. Um. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll get stuck in those loops. Interesting. Hmm. It's actually not where I want to be. Now this seems a bit more doable. Yeah, because now I can do that. There we go. Congratulations, you have completed the pack easy. Final score 15,030. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Alright, so now easy Wait, for 3,000 downloads. Not sure what that button's for, but okay. Maybe there's a uh, eighth pack that'll be unlocked when the game's gotten three thousand downloads. Fresh work, maybe. All right, uh, let's see. Easy two, maybe next. Possibly, possibly average. We'll see. Uh, but that'll have to be it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, a, a brief look into Orboxy thus far. Uh, I will definitely be playing more of this game. Uh, thus far, I, I am actually enjoying it. Um, there are some interesting concepts I can't recall having seen before. Uh, at least not the way they are in this game, though. There are some other puzzle games out there that I've played that had similar elements to them. Uh, like the bombs, for example. I, I have actually had a game where the bombs existed, but like it was every time I moved it would take down one, not uh, on, on its own timing system. Um, or likewise, the ice uh, I've had before in one puzzle game, and I'm trying to remember what the name of that one was. But, uh, again, for the life of me, I, I can't remember any of these puzzle games. Like, they, they were never really memorable for their name, I guess I could say. Even if the actual gameplay itself was. Uh, the the ice low and the other puzzle game I was talking about um, played a different role in, in that one of the puzzle games had had a block kind of like the sensor only it was a laser uh, and the laser had to destroy the ice or melt the ice depending on your point of view on that uh, but so far this game was meant to be sci-fi spacey graphics and it, it's definitely definitely there uh, I think my only claim at the moment is maybe the lack of actual options but that could always be worked on in the future in, in other games I'm sure but that'll have to be it for now hope you guys have enjoyed Orbach C episode 1 and until next time as always take it easy